welcome another day another well not making anything but I got a couple of more accessories here for the Harbor Freight tool cart and I got one of them just magnetic strip there'll be captions and a link below the other is this really neat I like this Harbor Freight tray I have a video of the 30% off coupon that I used on this. I'll link it in the top for information as well. Just all of a sudden decided this morning, hey, wouldn't it be cool to have this the same color as my cart? Which by now most of you know is cobalt blue. I don't think that that's the official Harbor Freight name, but that is what I'm going to call it. bad people out there with some uh, anticipation that maybe I hadn't unplugged it for a second there as I touched it I was wondering that myself then I remembered that yes indeed I had for purpose for educational purposes maybe we'll just mask this make it simple mask around here because this isn't going to show anyway you and I will know it's going to be oversprayed blue inside but nobody else will know. When Here's a little precision Klein. I'll put a link to it. I think I bought it as a three-piece set with a stubby. Because I thought I had lost this one. And then it just showed up out of the blue. Line to the rescue. I really thought that head was going to strip out because these screws are millennium, malignum, superman, kryptonite type steel or something. little scratched or whatever, but maybe the cobalt blue paint. Rattle can will cover it. I don't know, what do you think about, I don't know. This is gonna be really tough. You know, I'll try and cut around that. Maybe I'll get somebody that's got better eyes than me to do that. We'll be right back, stay tuned. Okay, so. I guess what I decided to do on this is put a bubble of wood glue, Elmer's wood glue on there because it should scrape, peel off pretty good. What I'll do is put it around there, let it overrun the area and then I should be able to use a precision like a crap knife or something to scrape it off of there since it's what not glue it won't glue that right it's not wood so it shouldn't glue that trim around that LED power indicator leave the glue on there when it's all done just peel it off like I would the other stuff so we're gonna set that aside all right Let's see if we can take these magnets and even try to save this nice uh, warning label. Nice warning label, I doubt it.
absolutely perfect. No, it's not, but <clears throat> that's the whole point. This is a blind guy here. If I can do it and do a somewhat presentable, at least, job, then imagine what a great job you can do yourself. You bought it and you paid for it. Don't be afraid to fix it or don't be afraid to try some idea to make it look better. We'll be right back. All right, here's our next project to mask. Now, keep in mind that what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try bed liner in here, bed coating, because I don't want to be tossing tools in here or parts or whatever just, and put screwdrivers in here just to find out that, you know, Randall Campaign is going to chip and, and come right off compared to this powder coat that's on here. And until Harbor Freight comes out with the rumored um, color match ones for the Skittles and the Skittles colors, then this is what I'm left with. So, without any further ado, Okay, so here's the top. As I said, I wanted the uh, screwdriver holes covered as well. I just wanted a seal here so that overspray wouldn't go in there where I'm going to use the uh, truck bed liner. And then I took the back side of my razor knife here and went along there to try and uh, get a nice sharp edge there. Here's the back of it because I'm going to carry the bed liner thing spray all the way around here to where the screwdriver holes go through and I set this back off of the end just a little bit because I don't want any red showing through so it doesn't matter if the bed liner spray goes over a little bit of that blue overspray I want just enough overspray to kind of um, make sure you don't see any red coming around that corner well, now I think everything's ready to paint. We'll be right back and you can see that. Okay, well, we got it all uh, taken care of here with the acetone. All wiped down. I'll put you on a tripod now and uh, we'll get in the paint booth and see how it looks, how it goes on. Be right back. Here's the first coat. We'll let that dry. Second coat. We'll be back with a final coat. I think it's going to take a few days for it to uh, cure good before I could touch it, but it looks pretty good so far. You can kind of get the idea of what's going on here. Everything that you see that's red now is going to be bed coat, spray paint. See how it turns out. Okay, so got this all mask off. Front and back. This across here is going to be the uh, truck bed liner coat. And then up under here, we've got it masked off pretty well. Then we'll just uh, wipe it down with some acetone and let's see how it looks. Be right back. Alrighty. Well, we're back in our paint booth and this is what we're using. Truck bed coating from Krylon. 
What the heck? It's Sunday. Let's do it to it like Pruitt used to do it to it. Oh, that's interesting. Coat one. Well, here it is. Take this nice far away picture so you don't see how terrible it turned out. The point here, I guess, was, you know, a guy that doesn't see very well at all can do it. Imagine the great job that you can do when you guys try to do it. Maybe even start a YouTube channel of your own. Now we're going to get a little closer so you can actually see it here. I don't know if you could see this LED if you're on a phone. But, uh, yeah, the glue didn't work. Putting glue on it. And putting it back together is pretty difficult because that ground screw that goes in up here somewhere with the uh, nut on the end of it trying to get that nut down in there and and put the screw in at the same time with a even with with a good pair of miniature pliers is is pretty difficult so you know having somebody walk into your shop and see your your card and your accessories that are matched you know it I suppose I turn it turned out good enough for that well not a day too soon we finished this project just in time because it is hot here in Arizona 100 degrees so hot make Betty Cracker want to order out it's hot. Now, it's not perfect. But this was the point of the whole thing. If a blind guy can do a decent job of this, or inspire you with other ideas of your own, then, you know, the point is get out there and do it. It's yours. You bought it. Just, you know, experiment with it. This is 10 bucks from Harbor Freight, and it's 7 bucks if you get it with the 30% off coupon. Okay? So, here we go. Okay, down here. It's hard to do one-handed, okay? Put some stuff in there. That uh, spray-on bed liner, even though it's like Rust-Oleum or whatever, will do a pretty good job. Now, for you who haven't seen my uh, uh, five mods video, it's cobalt blue, rust-oleum gloss. Pretty close match. And it's real easy to mask off, too. I, I think you could do a really nice job on this. So, you know, hopefully we'll have a community, community page soon and I can get some posts of this. If not, make your own video. This is a pretty good one to start with. It's easy to do. I'd like to send a special shout out and thank you to all my subscribers and you guys who have been giving me support in, in my new channel here. Thank you very much. You guys are just really super, super awesome people. And like, share, subscribe. And if you subscribe, you want to see more of this content, click that little picture of the bell icon down there in the corner and it'll send you notifications whenever I put out a new video. Thank you all again for watching.